Mariners fans are hoping this will be a season of change. The signs are already there with plenty of youthful talent on the roster. Carol 7 Sports Director Chris Francis is at spring training in Arizona. He got to pick the brain today of the man charged with this youth movement. Chris? Proof, Steve, that I am doing some work while I am down here. I did talk to Mariners GM Jerry DePoto, and he says... He is more excited than he has been in 30-plus years in baseball because of the talent and the youth that is at this facility behind me. This is by far the youngest spring training group that, that I've ever been with on any level, as, as a player, as an executive, whatever. And, uh, and every day they are energizing the environment, and you're going to see one or more of them do something each day that makes you say, wow. The step-back plan is ahead of schedule, but it's not about winning. Not yet. It's about developing these players. The coaches are they're pinching themselves because now they have the ability to work with high talent players and help them improve. DePoto says there's no such thing as too much talent, but at some point he'll have to decide who to keep and who to let go. The Yankees dynasty in the late 90s had to do the same thing. They were fortunate enough in those years that they chose to keep Bernie Williams, but don't get lost on the fact that they had Deion Sanders and Gerald Williams and like they had multiple center fielders at every level they just yeah. happened to choose the right one and right. and uh, you know they had to do that at multiple positions I hope we have to make those types of decisions and when we do I hope we do it as well as they do. those decisions may come next year or in 2022 as for this opening day if I'm looking out at the field and I see Evan White and I see Shed Long and I see JP Crawford and Kyle Lewis and and I see young pitchers like Justice Sheffield and Justin Dunn and and the next step forward for Marco Gonzalez that's exciting for us because a we're gonna find out a lot about those players that we're counting as part of the the foundation of what we're building but with the youthful energy we will be very likely the youngest team in the big leagues this year we're going to make mistakes but along the way we're also going to thrill you. Just All right, so this is part of the M's projected opening day lineup. Just a couple of players, and you never know about injuries or, or performance in the spring, but some of these major pieces are between 23 and 26 years old, which means they're still even a year or two away from the prime of their careers. Now, this is all one big gamble the Mariners are making here, depending on how these players perform, uh, but it's an educated gamble, as you heard DePoto say in the piece. Uh, he has seen signs that it could pay off in a big way. So I know Mariners fans have heard this before, but <laughs> patience, please. We're a year or two away from, from maybe some big, big uh, plays at T-Mobile at, at Park there in Seattle. For now, live in Peoria, Arizona, Chris Francis, Cairo 7 News. All right, Chris.